Is, is it good to say no? Uh, when is it good to say no? Or, or just your initial thoughts on it? Yeah. Well, yes. <laughs> yes, I think it's good to say no. Well, and because, you know, it's because this whole idea came from like a quote by, I heard by Bill Gates. And I don't know the exact quote, so just paraphrasing. Like it was something like, you know, he said that the success that he's had, he had because he said no to people. If he had not said no, then he probably wouldn't have had all the success that he's had. Because I think it was what he was getting at is something along the lines of, you know, if you say yes to everything, then you're not going to have time to pursue your goals. You know, your goals are going to be put off to the side. And then before you know it, you're never going to achieve them. So, you know, you can't just say yes to everything because your time is, is very valuable. And if it gets taken up, especially if you have a really, I mean, if you have a strong goal like Bill Gates with the Internet and Microsoft, you have to put all your effort and time into that. We have a finite amount of time and, and what you use your time on is, is, you know, where your heart is, where your treasure is. And, and so, so if you have it everywhere, then, you know, that he who, he who wants to please everyone will please no, no, no one, right? Because you're going to be trying to uh, make up here and there for another, you know, if you're trying to please everyone, you know, at some point there's going to be someone that you can't please. And if you're just saying yes to them and, you know, trying to please them as much as possible, then yeah, that can be overwhelming. It can be for your own mental health too. Like in psychology, like uh, the people pleaser, as you would refer to them, right? You know, as someone who says yes all the time, who can't stand up for themselves, who's probably passive, who probably doesn't have much assertiveness. And maybe they don't have much assertiveness because they're afraid they're going to offend someone or they're afraid uh, they're going to come off as aggressive there's a there's those various fears like i don't want to make people think that i'm a bad person and these are catastrophic thoughts you know they're they're maladaptive yeah i don't want to make this person think i'm being too aggressive i don't want to come off the wrong way but you know the pride there's a certainness training which in short is learning to find that balance between passiveness and aggression so that you can actually be assertive and actually stand up for yourself and you know assert the things that you want and say no when you want to, because I've seen it happen. I've seen it happen to people when they can't say no, it, they could become overwhelmed, like you're saying. And it actually it can make you feel depressed. It can make you feel anxiety, especially anxiety when you're taking on, you're saying yes to multiple things that, you know, you can't do because you don't have time and you're overwhelming yourself because you can't do everything at once. You know, sometimes it's it's a job. Sometimes it's just family. You know, sometimes people what what somebody might say like blood suckers where where they they take they take they take but they they never give back and so you're constantly giving uh but never receiving back any anything and not to say you know that you should always receive something but have you ever had to say no or had a time you know i i actually yes yeah i i've had to say no a couple times you know especially for like uh Let's say, for example, something easy like some a friend saying like, "Hey, can we meet up to have lunch and and maybe do this thing?" And I say like, "Hey, like, I I wish I could, but you know, I I have a lot of things going on right now. I have some projects that I'm working on, and I really want to get get these done. But hopefully, maybe sometime within the next couple of weeks we can meet up. So it's it's sometimes good to to find middle grounds or or just overall say no to so that it doesn't carry over or you're regretting things that you wish you could have done with the time that you had and which which has happened to me before you know yeah. uh, I, I've been passive in, in previous situations and and I end up regretting it where I'm like hey I, I should have just done this or done that or, or said no overall and it ended up being <laughs> overwhelming and that you had to drop it halfway through or something like that. I was so busy one semester. I had two or three jobs, I think, and 18 hours of classes and extracurricular activities, like things I was involved with helping people with. And at that point, I, I just, it was literally impossible to do everything in any given week. At, at, because it, you can't do two things at once. I mean, maybe you, certain things, but like those things I couldn't do. I couldn't study and try to learn this thing I was trying to learn for something else right it's just man you know and, and that's when you realize that you have to cut certain things out and that's when you might have to say no or change your yes to a no you know and you can yeah. do that 
and you don't have to use the word no. You, there's more than one way to say no. You, you can even say no with a sentence, you know, and, and not make it sound so aggressive. The, I think of the fear many, some people have is um, not just like offending, but like also just uh, not wanting the other person to think uh, negatively of them. You know, I think many people like to feel liked by other people. Um, and that can become a distorted thought. It can become this unrealistic standard that you hold yourself up to, to where everyone must like me at all times for my whole life. And no one can live up to that standard. You're, I mean, I'm, maybe there's exceptions to this rule, but I feel like everyone has at least one enemy or someone that doesn't like them. For whatever reason, and it may not even be your fault. You know, believing that you can't say no because you don't want the person you're saying no to to dislike you or think negatively of you. That's, you know, that's only going to lead to pain on your part. When would be a good time to say no? And then how to identify, if, if you have said yes, how, do, how to identify a great moment to, to say no again, right? Or like to, or what would be a great way to kind of transition into a no if you've already said yes? Okay, that's serious, man. Yeah, I can tackle that one first. So yeah, that one is interesting. Like,